Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Deputy Commander, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Camp Base Lejeune, Colonel Yori Escalante, Mayor Sammy Phillips, Mr. Jack Bright, Onzo County Board of Commissioners, and Dr. James T. Aberhart, President of the Montfort Point Marines Association, welcome to this morning's groundbreaking ceremony for the Montfort Point Marines Memorial, which will be completed this summer. At this time, we would also like to pay special recognition to the following distinguished visitors and major donors of the Montfort Point Marines Memorial, the Onzo County Board of Commissioners, the City of Jacksonville Tourism Development Authority, Marine Federal Credit Union, the National Naval Officers Association, Camp Pendleton, Miramar, Prison Flea Market, Ms. Lucille P. Cunningham, Ms. Kayum J. Hayes, and Mr. Richard H. Walker. We are pleased that you have joined us for this special occasion. Guests are requested to remain seated throughout the ceremony, except for those occasions when you will be expressly requested to rise. You are also asked to turn off your cell phones and remain seated until the conclusion of the ceremony. Finally, let's have an enthusiastic round of applause for the quintet provided by the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing Band. The invocation for today's ceremony is being given by Reverend James E. Moore, Sergeant Major, United States Marine Corps, retired. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation and remain standing for the March on of the Colors followed by the playing of our national anthem. Let us pray. Father God, whose rule is over all, who knows all, O oh God, you have declared in your word that in everything we are to give you thanks. So we thank you for this day, the day, O oh Father God, that once was a green dream in the many, many hearts of many of our people. We thank you for this day, and we thank you for every person who has contributed to us being here this day. Lord, we thank you for the memory of those who have fought so hard for the right to fight. We pray, oh Father God, that you just bless them and cement their deeds and their contribution to this great country. Those, oh Father God, whose deeds and whose actions once was invisible to this great nation and the core in which they serve. Do now, O oh God, we pray, bless that we shall continue their legacy and their memory. Many pray to you in many names, but I pray to you in the name of Jesus Amen. the Christ, my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Yori Escalante, Deputy Commander of Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune. We should be a lot more awake than that with this beautiful North Carolina cool blast in our face. <laughs> Members of the National Mump Report Marines Association, Brigadier General Alford, Brigadier General Thomas, Mayor Phillips, Commissioner Bright, Dr. Averhart, fellow commanders, distinguished guests, Marines, sailors, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And welcome as we celebrate the official groundbreaking of the Mumford Point Marines Memorial. It is my sincere honor to be here today on behalf of Brigadier General Castelvi and all of Camp Lejeune. I want to keep my remarks short this morning because this morning's event is about this memorial and those who it commemorates. It's only through them that we can appreciate the Montford Point Marines, their incredible history, and their many stories of personal sacrifice. It's only fitting that we're gathered here today at the Leisure Memorial Gardens. Camp Montford Point, which was the segregated boot camp for African American Marines, was just around the corner from here, which is now Camp Johnson. And as we look around and we see the tributes to those who are in this garden, there are two things that remain consistent, and that's honor and sacrifice. The Montford Point Marines embody those attributes every day, so it's only right that we're here to commemorate them, their history, and their sacrifices. Dr. Martin Luther King spoke of a day when, he, of a dream that he had that one day his children would live in a nation where people were not judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. The Montford Point Marines epitomize that character, and they do so with a courageous spirit personal honor and willful sacrifice to pave the way for an integrated Marine Corps of all backgrounds. This memorial will honor those here as well as the 20,000 men of Camp Montford Point who suffered through racism and segregation but still had the desire to defend their country and demand that right, demand that right to fight and even die in defense of that same country. Their legacy of devotion to their fellow Marines, their loyalty to the Marine Corps, and the courage under any and all circumstances is a shining example for every Marine, regardless of their background. As we prepare to break ground here today at this memorial, we recognize and celebrate the important accomplishments of these incredible Marines and what their impact was on Marine Corps history and our great nation. They collectively struggled to break down racial barriers and fight a global war for their country, as well as continuing to fight for their equality back in that same country. The determination of the men of Montford Point to fight for their right to fight changed the course of history. For that, their legacy will be eternalized right here in the Leisure Memorial Gardens, where they will forever share this ground with other heroes where they made their mark and their nation's legacy. For all the Montford Point Marines who are here today, I salute you on behalf of every Marine, regardless of their background. Thank you again for everyone who's attending here today uh, and taking time to gather as we celebrate the beginning of this tangible memorial and testament to their heroism and the great acts that they accomplished. It's now my sincere pleasure to introduce Commissioner Jack Bright of the Onslow County Board of Commissioners. Thank you very much and Semper Fidelis. Thank you for coming today. Uh, the weather's not as warm as we might wanted it to be, but I'll tell you, uh, the, the 20,000 month of Point Marines that were here uh, back in the 40s, they probably faced some of these same temperatures and same weather conditions, and they weathered that storm, and they were pioneers for not only Onslow County, but Jacksonville, and also the Marine Corps. 
I had the pleasure to be in the acquaintance with uh, Sergeant Major Huff. I had met him. And actually he lives, uh, his family lives and settled about four miles from where I actually live now in Bear Creek. He was a pillar to our community. Another such Mufford Pointer and another such Mufford Point Marine was uh, Mr. Turner Blunt. He was a leader in our community, still is. Uh, he resides, I'm not sure if he's here today, maybe some of his family is, but he was a county, uh, a city council person and also a business person in Jacksonville and a leader of our community. So on behalf of the Oslo County Board of Commissioners, I'm proud to say that we supported this monument, we support this endeavor. Thank you for coming, and I'll keep my remarks short to that, to that point. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next speaker, Mr. Sammy Phillips, Mayor for the City of Jacksonville. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out today. And I know it's a little brisk. I'm starting to feel it myself. I think I came a little underdressed today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, finally, uh, finally, we are going to break ground today on something that's been a dream for a long time. An opportunity uh, to memorialize some men who sacrificed a lot for this country at a time when they were consi not considered, uh, they were co actually considered second class citizens. You know, despite the fact that the country wasn't very loyal to them, they were loyal to the country and served with the vigor and the, Amer the American uh, strive. But finally, we're going to get to recognize all of them. I think this memorial, if, as you see on the, the drawing over here, is just absolutely beautiful. It's, it's a great piece of work that I'm very proud to have served on the city council that approved, helped approve making this dream a reality. Uh, I know that I don't, I didn't see Mr. Blunt here today, but Mr. Turner Blunt, who's getting on up in the years, you know, he's one of the original Montford Point Marines who served, I had, I had the wonderful opportunity was behind this uh, and I wanted to say Turner we finally made it we're very uh, privileged to live in a community uh, that is made up of military and civilians we're one community and this is just uh, uh, just another example of how we've all worked together to be able to memorialize people for their heroism, for their duty, and for their honor for this country. All the folks that have worked on this memorial, I want to thank you for your input, for what you've done. Uh, I know it's been several years in the making, uh, but finally, we're going to turn some earth today, and hopefully it won't be long before we realize you know, what we have worked on for so long. And with that, I'm going to close my remarks out because I'm about to freeze. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a wonderful day here in our community to be able to finally honor those men that serve here at Mompa Point. Thank you. Our next speaker is Dr. James T. Aberhart, Jr., who is the Montford Point Marine Association National President. As we return to hollow grounds, let us be reminded for which we've come. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To our distinguished guests, the Marple Port Marines, general officers, members of the Marple Port Marine Association and ladies auxiliary, to all local, state, and federal political representatives, to officers, staff, non-commissioned officers, 
Marines, family members, and all who are here today. The Marfa Point Marine Association is a non-profit veterans organization established in 1965. Our mission is to perpetuate the legacy of the first African Americans who entered the United States Marine Corps from the period of 1942 to 1949 and served at Marfa Point Camp, New River, North Carolina. On behalf of the National Marfa Point Marine Association, I would like to thank each of you for your donations and contributions. We could not have achieved this goal of breaking ground if it were not for your kindness and willingness to support this initiative. Approximately 73 years ago, a unique group of men accepted a mission that would change the course of history. They were paved the way and blazed the trail for thousands of others to follow. They came from all walks of life and will have to fight for the right to fight. The members of the National Marfa Point Marine Association, Ladies Auxiliary, the Monument Team, your combined effort are reflective of your commitment and dedication to the Marfa Point Marines, in which you have developed to keep their legacy alive. Standing on the shoulders of giants and all those who have gone before us have enabled us to accomplish this great task. As we gather today to break ground, we should also pause to remember the 20,000 warriors who had to fight for the right to fight 73 years ago. Before leaving today, if you should take a moment and talk to these men of Marple Point, you will find similarities in the warrior spirit of these World War II veterans and yourselves. The same virtues of honor, discipline, and devotion are embodied by all and then and now. Their iconic uncommon valor became legendary in the history books and created those ethos that has transcended from generations to come. We only need to look around today to walk in the steps of those who fought so valiantly and to talk to these heroes who, to this day, still vividly recall the fateful days and nights on foreign shores. And if given an opportunity, they will take up arms today in defense of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will mark another opportunity for our nation and all Marine, past and present, to embrace the selfless service, sacrifice, and story contribution of the Marco Point Marines to the history of the United States Marine Corps. The National Marco Point Marine Association is proud to be a thriving part of the Marine Corps family and take pleasure in being a part of this ceremony today. We must continue, we must continue to champion the cause for the preservation of their legacy. For this is not just black history or Marine Corps history. This is American history, and the world need to know about the Marfa Point Marine. May God bless, continue to bless each of you, our country, and the United States Marine Corps. speaker this morning is Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Carpenter, retired, who is an original Montford Point Marine. It's great to be home again. I came here actually in 1943, and uh, I came from Washington, D.C., and this was quite a while a week because in D.C. at that time, we were prejudiced, but it wasn't discrimination like you had at the Jim Crow War. And as a result, of President Roosevelt's executive order required the Marine Corps to, to accept the African Americans. So the commandant at that time, Captain Thomas Hocum, he said that he didn't want us. He said he had no place for us. But eventually, uh, he was convinced by the Secretary of Navy, Secretary Knox, to accept us. So when I came, when I came here, I went to D.C. and I wasn't, I wasn't aware, I wasn't used to the Jim Crow law, which we ran into here. Because everywhere we turned, we had stopped. There were signs that says, hey, you can't go there. You don't belong there. You belong to on the side. So when I came down here on a bus, stopped at the uh, terminal, Nashville bus terminal, which was the one square block over. Uh, I had to make a phone call to call the base here to provide transportation. So I attempted to go into the bus station, and they called me, I can't go in there because I went to bike. And they told me I had to go outside. I had to find a phone. I said, well, I was looking for a phone that we didn't have. Uh, soft phones like we have today. So they said, well, still, you have to go outside. There's a phone on the wall outside, and you can use that phone. 
So sure enough, I did, and then the, 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 the bus, or, or truck rather, took off the point pick us up. So as soon as we hit the gate, they told us to come out of the some kind of truck, line up, and from then on, we caught hell off for the next eight weeks. <laughs> and I mean, we caught it. They, was not, they had no, no restrictions, the DI had no restrictions on us. That it wasn't anything they couldn't do, and they did everything they wanted to do. <laughs> but we, that's, that's what made us survive, and uh, made us better for each. And, uh, <coughs> they, they were, uh I'll, use, I'll borrow a few words from uh, Joe Chap, who was the former commandant of the Marine Park. He, he said the footprints of Buffalo Point Reeds were left on the beaches around the Maris, Saipan, Guam, Helena, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. He said the tides and winds have long ago washed them, the, and long ago washed uh, them into the history of into the seas of history. Uh, uh, but then, 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 however, the Buffalo Point Reeds Memorial we built here will we'll certainly make it. Uh, 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 it will certainly solidify the history of Buck Point Range. And, and I think back the time I came here, but it looked back like nothing. And we had the Quonset Hutch, uh, 16 to 16 to West Hutch. We had only a little pot dry stove in it. Uh, uh, so good. In the wintertime, we had to freeze because they, you couldn't make your fire you think. So yeah, we, we, we survived. And today I'm looking forward to the, to the building of the uh, memorial. And I hope that I'll be able to come back here at that time. I hope if I live long enough, I'll get back here at that time. And go to, to sit back and uh, reminisce over the things I had, the experience I had while I was here at Buffalo Point. And with that, I say God bless America. God bless the United States Marine Corps. God bless Buffalo Point. God bless the Buffalo Point Marine Association. And, uh, and those who helped us to build this association, to build this monument. Thank you. It's up to At this time, Lieutenant Colonel Carpenter will be joined by the original Moffat Point Marines and officials in attendance to conduct a ceremonial groundbreaking to mark the official start of construction for the Monfort Point Memorial here aboard Camp Luzerne, North Carolina. Uh -huh. 